Hello. Hello. So I'm Vada from BETV. What's your name and uh, from which country are you? My name is Hello and I'm from Norway. I'm doing the Boeing 737 Classic type rating. So what do you think? What qualities are the most important for the pilot? I think uh, one important quality is to be uh, calm in any situation so that you can know to do the right things, especially during emergencies. That's very important and not uh, to stay calm and not to panic. Um, and also have a good knowledge of the aircraft and its systems. It's, uh, it's a good thing to have. Yeah, I see. And uh, is it a huge competition among the pilots uh, in your country? Um, yes, I think so. Uh, I don't know that many pilots, but uh, it seems like there is uh, quite a few that are trying to get jobs. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think there's uh, somewhat of a competition. Mm, I see. And uh, talking uh, on your experience, uh, how did you decide to choose a pilot's career? Uh, for a long time it was a childhood dream yeah. um, that I, during my teens, uh, put away because of I thought I had to learn a lot about physics and mathematics and such, um, but then later on I figured out uh, that this is what I really want to do, so I would just have to learn th some things that I didn't, didn't care much for, but in the end it would be, uh, it would be the best thing to do, so I, I would do something that I actually like doing. Yeah, I see. And uh, did it change from the start till now? What do you mean? I mean, like, uh, you thought you would, you would have to study some things that aren't very interesting. Uh, did it uh, turn out that the vision you had is kind of this that you're doing now or not? Uh, yeah, I mean, there are also, for the pilot education, there are things that are not so interesting and it's uh, difficult, but it's also something you have to learn. So there have been some things that have been uh, not so fun, but of course uh, the main thing is to fly, and which is uh, the best thing. So. If your dreams would come true, how would you imagine your professional career in, let's say, two years? In two years I hope to be a first officer in one of the major airlines in Norway, of course. Um, yeah, that would be uh, the dream. Okay. Uh, and like, how are you going to get this? Maybe you have some advantages, some qualities they ever zoned, uh, or uh, ones that are very needed? Um, well, I think, uh, of course, I think I'm a, I'm a good pilot. Uh, that will uh, be doing my job uh, as good or better as anybody else and um, I think uh, I have a very good ability to learn new things and to adapt to situations uh, which uh, is a good quality I think because you, you know when you're flying there's always something new that you encounter and have to adapt to and maybe change so yeah. Yeah, sure. And uh, if you would have to write, uh, write several things in your CV, in your aviation CV, uh, what would you add? Maybe you, you, you have some, you did some parachute jumping, some air taxi, aerial photos, or youth, yeah, uh, youth uh, air club, some, or some additional trainings. What would you write? Well, I did work as an instructor yeah. uh, for about a year's time in, in the USA. So of course that's um, something I would put and already have of course on my on my CV. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a very valuable experience to learn other people how to fly because by learning you also learn, by teaching others you learn yeah. a lot yourself. Yeah, sure. And uh, like if talking on the different markets, uh, what was the main difference in the US and Norway? Uh, what kind of market are you thinking about? The uh, civil aviation, I think so, like trainings. Um, well, the, the markets are different, of course, they have each their regulations and way of doing things. Um, I guess the, the basic difference is that um, in the US they focus more on the hands-on flying parts and, um, and maybe in Europe uh, they focus more on, in Norway, more on uh, the th theoretical knowledge of flying. But so it's like very good to have both, to have those both schools. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last question. Uh, could you say a couple of words on our academy? What was the experience here? Uh, the experience here has been uh, good. Um, the personnel and staff is very uh, helpful and uh, always uh, smiling, which is good. Um, 
uh, the facilities are good and uh, yeah it's uh, of course the the price is very affordable for for most people I think and uh, I think those are the main reasons that uh, I like I like this academy okay so many thanks all the best in your career thank you